This Luna tutorial is specifically for Luna on Windows, as Mac is a little bit different at the moment. I know they're changing things, so it could change later on, but right now, this is specific to Windows. Adding plugins into Luna might be a little bit confusing at the start to figure out how to get Luna to find your plugins in the first place, and then how do we add them onto track? So let's have a look at that. And the first thing is getting Luna to find your plugins because you can't add them in there if Luna doesn't have them. So on Windows, Luna only recognizes VST3 plugins. So if you have just plain VST, which are likely VST2 plugins, it's not going to see those. It's only going to see VST3 plugins. So where is the folder and how do you change the folder so Luna knows where you have your VST3 plugins installed? The good news is VST3 plugins always install to the default location on all systems, which is C, Program Files, Common Files, VST3. And that's where Luna is going to look for your VST3 files. So then you're ready to start adding those plugins into your projects. And it's very easy to do. So first we'll look at adding an effect plugin. And if you're on this screen, the timeline screen here, you're gonna to wanna to go to the mix screen and you can see this section right here called inserts. That's where we're going to look. It may be collapsed. You might not see that whole section. So you might need to click on this little arrow here to show that section. And let's just look at our kick drum here. So I'll add maybe an EQ to this first, or maybe I'll add a channel strip plugin. So I'll click on inserts here, this little plus, and then over to the side here, we can see our plugin selector window or whatever you want to call it. And there's actually some categories here and I find it helps to select a plugin. So what we'll do is just look at these categories and let's say I want to add a channel strip to kick drum. So I'll click on channel strips here. And then down here, you can see what channel strips I have installed. Or over here, there's another category called channel strip and preamp. So I might want that. And we can see UAD. I do have the Sentry tube from Universal Audio on there. So maybe I want to load that up. I'll just click on it. And it's going to load up the Sentry channel strip for me. So here's our Sentry channel strip plugin. If I play the audio, you can see our audio is playing through this plugin and I could adjust settings if I want and start using this effect plugin. It's very easy to do. Now, what if I didn't want the Sentry channel? I tested this out. I don't like it. I'm still in this window here. And if I wasn't, let's say I clicked out of that and I realized I don't want this Sentry channel on here anymore. So if I click in this area here and you can see it's blue in behind the plugin. I can actually change this plugin now. So I can maybe go to this channel strip over here and maybe I want this one instead. And you can see it's changed that Sentry channel. I now have this one in there instead. I could always just right click on it and then remove. And then I can click the plus again and we can add something else in here. And if you are on a category and you don't want it on any category anymore, you just want all of your plugins, you can click the X right beside category. It's going to clear whatever category you were on. So let's go back in here and I'm going to add a channel strip again. This time I will add the Waves SSL EV2 channel. So I'll just click on that. We'll load that up. And here's our Waves EV2 channel. I'm just going to move that off to the side and show you if I want to add a second plugin on here, I can do that. So I can click the plus sign underneath and maybe now I want to add an equalizer. So I'll add this EQP1A EQ, click on that. And now I've added this EQ plugin underneath the channel strip. So the way the audio is going to be routed is through this plugin first, the one at the top and then into this one. And then if we add another one, you can see it's added another row it will go into that one. So maybe I add a compressor there and we'll choose an LA-2A compressor. And you can see again, it's added another plus. So I can keep adding plugins to my heart's desire in here if I really wanted to. And like I said, 
the audio's flowing through this one at the top first, then into this one, then into that one. So keep that in mind when you're using plugins. Now, the next thing we might want to look at is adding instrument plugins. We can go up to track and new instrument track. So we'll click on that and you can see it's brought up this instrument channel here for our instrument track. And we click on the plus where it says instrument. And again, we have this section here and there's some categories, although I don't appear to have any categories, it's grayed out. And I'll just choose the shape plugin because that is the one that comes with Luna. So you click on that just like you did with the effects. And now it's loaded up our instrument plugin here and we have it on this instrument track. And if we want, there's also MIDI effects. So we could add a MIDI effect here. So I click on the plus and Luna actually comes with this ARP effect and you can add that on there if you really want to. Or we can take it off there by right clicking, remove, and same with your instrument. If you don't want that on there, we can right click, remove, and then click there and add something else that we might want. But I'm gonna add say the Polymax synth this time. This one doesn't come with Luna, but it does come with the Essentials bundle. So now if we want, we can add effects to this instrument track. So we'll just go back to the mixing view here and we'll look for our new instrument, which is right here. Move that out of the way. And you can see there's inserts on our instrument track. So you would just click on that, go over here, maybe add a compressor, whatever it is you want. And now we have an effect on an instrument track. It's very easy to do. And now that you know how to load plugins into Luna, you might want to check out that Essentials Bundle that I just told you about, or maybe there's another bundle, the SoftTube Essentials Bundle, that's also really nice. You can click this video here to check those out. If you liked this video that you just watched, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.